So yeah, gaming on Linux has definitely come a long way in the last couple years, and with Chimera OS, it makes it even easier to turn basically any PC into a Linux-based gaming console. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Chimera OS, and I know a lot of you are thinking this looks a lot like Steam OS 3, otherwise known as Steam Deck OS, but I can assure you this is a totally different distro. This is the recently updated Chimera OS. And we've got a lot of great new features, like obviously Gamepad UI, we've got GameScope, system-wide FSR, and now with the latest version of Chimera OS, we've got a full desktop interface. And I've messed around with this operating system in the past, there were a few things missing, and it didn't use Gamepad UI until now. So I've actually put together a pretty inexpensive PC to kind of showcase this operating system, and some of you might be very familiar with this HP Pavilion. A couple years ago, these were uh, going for a really decent deal at Walmart. It's got a 6-core Ryzen 3500 CPU, and they came with a GTX 1650, but I did a little bit of upgrading with this, and you can actually find these basically bare bones with no GPU on eBay for a really good deal. Most of them still come with an SSD and RAM, but uh, you know, with this one here, I actually upgraded the GPU because I prefer using AMD or Radeon GPUs with Linux, given the fact that we've got way better compatibility with GameScope right now. So I've upgraded to an RX 6600 non-XT variant. You can get these for a really decent deal on eBay used. A lot of people didn't like the uh, 6000 series cards, given the price and performance, but personally for Linux gaming, I've had a really great time with this, and paired up with the right CPU, it actually offers some really great 1440p gaming. So there's not much else going on with this PC. I've got the stock power supply, we've got that stock CPU, which is the Ryzen 3500, 6 cores, 6 threads, up to 4.1 gigahertz, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can actually put something like this together for pretty cheap right now, but before we get into testing, I did want to head over to the Chimera website and give you a look at everything. Been on the market for a little while now, and in the past it used Steam Big Picture Mode, and I've messed around with it, but you know, ever since Gamepad UI was released with the Steam Deck and now on PC, a lot of people wanted to kind of stray away from the uh, big picture mode. And now with the latest update to Chimera OS, we've got Gamepad UI, just like you'll see on the Steam Deck. They also offer an app that you can actually access from your phone or another PC while everything's up and running, and you can adjust a few things from there. It does have the latest AMD and NVIDIA drivers, but with the new Gamepad UI, Steam has kind of bonked a lot of stuff with NVIDIA when it comes to uh, game scope, so your overlay might not work with NVIDIA, and that's why we have an AMD card in this. I really do hope that Valve sorts this out because I want to put together a nice little NVIDIA setup for an operating system like this. It's super easy to install. You're just going to download the installer, flash it to a USB drive, boot from that USB, and it's an online installer, so you will need to connect to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but there's a full interface there, so you can just use your keyboard and get everything set up. Installs in a few minutes, and you'll be up and running with something very similar to a SteamOS 3 or Steam Deck OS. And another big thing that was missing from Chimera OS in the past that kind of kept me away from it was a desktop interface. But with this latest update, but with this latest update, they've got us covered. All right, so let's take a closer look at the operating system. As you can see, it's using Gamepad UI, very reminiscent of the Steam Deck. I mean, it's using the exact same thing. And since I'm using an AMD card here, I do have access to GameScope. From my controller, I can uh, press my home button and A. It'll bring up our overlay over here. We can go ahead and turn this off for now, but when we get into testing some games, we'll have it back on. Heading over to settings, system, you can see we're running Chimera OS. And with this, we've got that Ryzen 3500, just six cores, no extra threads. And for that GPU, the 6600. Now I have tested this with NVIDIA, Everything actually works except for game scope, so you just can't get that overlay, but if you did want to use, let's say, a GTX 1650 or something similar that comes with a PC like this, you could install this and play your favorite games, you're just not going to have access to that overlay and a few other little features that kind of work with game scope. But with the AMD card, we've got access to all of these performance settings like we would have with the uh, Steam Deck except for TDP, GPU clock is going to be out of the question here because we're not using the same APU. But if you did need to use system-wide FSR, we've got it right here, scaling mode, and we've got the sharpness. So there's a lot of great stuff here brought over from the Steam Deck in Chimera OS. 
And overall, I've had a really pleasant experience with this. Now, I did mention that I used this in the past when it used big picture mode. And at the time, there was no desktop built in. But now with this release, we can head to power, switch to desktop. As you can see, we've got a full-blown desktop interface here with Chimera now. And uh, I have to mention it again, this is all based on Arch Linux, so if you're into Arch Linux, then you'll love this operating system. If we head over to the Software Center, if you need to download an emulator or a certain game or something like that, we can do it directly from here. Straight off the bat from the main menu, RPCS3, we've got DuckStation, PCSX2, lots of great stuff here. And you know, if you just wanted to use it as an everyday desktop, you can also go through, download something like GIMP for photo editing, full LibreOffice suite. I personally think it does open up this operating system a lot more having a full desktop interface here. In the past, it was just kind of a gaming operating system. And still, you know, if you just want to stay in game mode, not a problem. You'll never have to hit up desktop. But for power users or people who just want to use this as their everyday PC, this comes in really, really handy. We're going to move back over to game mode. We can do it directly from here. And now I think it's time to test out a few of these games. But uh, before we do, I do want to mention that a lot of these operating systems that are using the uh, GamePad UI are going to kind of be locked at 720p out of the box, but it's easily fixed. For instance, God of War. We're going to go over here to our settings, properties, and from game resolution, we can set this to native, or we can select whatever resolution we'd like here, and we can go all the way up to that. So usually I set it at 1440p, you know, depending on how powerful the system is. And from the game settings itself, then I can go up to that resolution or below it. But out of the box with this completely turned off, you're going to be stuck at 720p. All right, so first game I wanted to test here is God of War. We're going to head over to display. I want to show you we're not using FSR whatsoever. We're at 1080p and we're at ultra settings. Remember, for the CPU, we've got that Ryzen 3500 with six cores, and for the GPU, the RX 6600 non-XT. And with these settings here, we can get an average of 71 FPS out of this game. Not bad at all, given that we're using Proton in Linux to run this game. Looking really good. Everything that I've tested so far has worked out very well, but it would have been nice to have just a little more power on the CPU side of things or just the CPU with more threads. I've personally found that having those extra threads with Linux gaming really helps out. But if this is all you got, it's gonna work out just fine. As you can see here, God of War is fully playable with this CPU in Chimera OS. Next up, we've got Spider-Man Miles Morales, 1080p, very high settings, no FSR. Of course, with a card like this, if you did want to get some more frames out of it, you could always enable FSR. And to tell you the truth, setting it to quality here at 1080p, very high settings, really doesn't make much of a difference, at least to my eye. And with the games that do support it, just taking FSR to quality can gain you up to 20 FPS. Something like this would gain us around 18 frames with the same exact setup. Now, when it comes to Cyberpunk 2077, this is one I do like to enable FSR with. So we're at quality with that, 1080p, high settings, and we can get an average of 74 FPS. Now, I'm not complaining whatsoever when it comes to a game like this, being able to run it over 60 at 1080p on a Linux machine. And personally, I can't really tell a difference when I have FSR set to quality versus it off, especially with a game like this. Some people may be a little more sensitive, you know, to the quality presets, but for me, I'm fine running it just like it is. And the final one I wanted to show off here was Horizon Dawn. Very high settings, no FSR, 1080p. With the non-XT variant of the RX 6600, 1080p is great for ultra, but if you want to go up to 1440, high with some FSR depending on the game is where it's at. And you can run basically any AAA game on a machine like this. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further. So when it comes to the newest updates to Chimera OS, I think the developer has done an amazing job, and I highly recommend checking this out if you're into Linux gaming. I usually use Hollow ISO because basically that was the only one that had GamePad UI and access to GameScope right now without a ton of work, you know, on my end. But seeing how well Chimera is working now with GamePad UI, GameScope, and the fact that we've got a full-blown desktop interface now, this might be my go-to Linux setup. So yeah, I highly recommend trying this out. Link for the website is in the description. Just flash it to a USB and install it to an internal or external drive. It's really up to you.
And if you're interested in putting together a similarly spec PC, I'll leave some links down below. There'll be Amazon and eBay kind of mixed up. A lot of the stuff can be gotten used, and I would recommend, you know, picking up used parts to keep the price way down. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you've tried the newest version of Chimera out, or you're still using an older version, let us know how you like it in the comments below. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.